So, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me today. I really appreciate you. Now, I have to admit when I'm wrong about things. So, apparently, I was wrong once again. I have to say I'm sorry for saying that all cops are bastards. Because, obviously, they're not, right? But, just in case I am wrong about that, I'm going to say this. All cops are bastards. Why do I say this again? for the who knows how many times because of this there's a gentleman by the name of George Barlow the third now Mr. Barlow is a Native American and he was walking his dog uh, and he was near the California Nevada uh, border and uh, as he was walking along uh, apparently the cops came to arrest him or accost him and what it is they were going to investigate um, but the person that they were looking for, even though Mr. Barlow apparently said that he was, they said that he was yelling, but who knows about what in an empty parking lot, they ended up tasing him, beating him so bad that he's in intensive care now, and they murdered his dog. So, uh, to let you know, it just says, uh, a 32 year old Native American man in California was beaten and his dog was murdered by two police officers in an empty parking lot near the Nevada border on Saturday. Mr. George Barlow III, Paiute, is now in an intensive care unit in a hospital after police brutally beat him around 2 a.m. outside a closed gas station on Bishop Paiute Reservation, reports say. Okay, so the report, the police are, of course, going to say, you know, we did everything right. But unfortunately, the call that that they had gotten was for someone else and not this gentleman. And instead of trying to talk to Mr. Barlow and find out what actually is going on, and if they were wrong, they should have left, they decided to beat him, tase him, pepper spray him, and then murder his dog. Now, I'm going to show you the video of what happened to Mr. Barlow and the dog. Now, if you're an animal lover and a people lover you're probably gonna be pretty upset and by the way this is mr barlow and his gorgeous puppy that i mean it's just so sad i have four dogs and it breaks my heart to think that someone would shoot and murder a dog especially since the dog was really friendly up until the point to where uh, the cops started beating his owner and they then they shot the dog but I will go ahead and show you the video and let you see if you have a weak stomach. Please don't watch this because it is not pretty. But this is what happened to Mr. Barlow and his dog. He was acting fucking stupid out here. Yeah. Are they gonna shoot the dog? Yep. What the f? So as disturbing as that may be, it is very unfortunate that our police, the people that we pay our taxes to in order to serve and protect us, which of course is a joke, instead of being trained to properly assess a situation with uh, a citizen of the United States uh, and try to find out what's going on first, or just doing basic investigations, just doing your job that you're getting paid for, just doing the right thing. They could have they could have avoided killing this man's dog and beating him nearly to death. The problem with our cops is that they have shitty training. In the United States, you can be a cop within like 8 to 12 weeks, maybe. 8 to 12 weeks. But in the military, it took me 20 years to be... 20 plus years to be a 
seamen, sailor, you know, army, uh, Marine Corps corpsman, and an Air Force medic. It took a lot of training, years of training for me to be able to do the things that I did. It wasn't just something that you can just walk off the street and just do. You have to, you have to be trained, and you have to be trained properly to be able to do your job. And the cops are not properly trained. But besides the training, and once again, I say all cops are bastard. It's a, it's a human aspect. They they are not humans. They don't treat other humans like humans. They they don't understand empathy. That's not something they teach cops is empathy. They don't understand sympathy because you have to not be able to access a sympathetic bone in your body to shoot a friendly dog, but to shoot a dog, period. But to beat the wrong friggin' person up and put them in a hospital in intensive care and murder their dog and not care about it. And the only thing I think that they're concerned about is making sure those cops are back on the street. I mean, do your job right. They, they can't even do their jobs properly by doing the proper investigation. They had the wrong man. That right there should have ended everything. They should have left, say, sorry citizen, our fault, and moved on. This man would have been fine, he wouldn't be beaten half to death, and his dog wouldn't be dead. I mean, look at this cute puppy. I mean, the dog was friendly. And then the cops just started beating the hell out of his owner. So, yeah, of course the dog's going to jump in. It's their fault. But they'll do anything they can to save themselves from any responsibility for the things that they do that are just horrible. Because they're just... They're bastards. They're horrible people. So, once again, I say that all cops are bastards. Because they just are. If there was a good cop, a good cop would step in and stop the bad cops, the bad apples, from doing all the horrible, horrendous things that they do. We wouldn't have bad cops because good cops would say something about the bad cops. So all cops are bastards. But on another note, uh, Native Americans are um, killed more often than pretty much everyone in this country. Uh, and... It's just, we can do better. Cops can do better. Our whole justice system can do better. We, we can treat people with compassion and sympathy and empathy and, and love everyone. And not just beat the living hell out of somebody because you can. Or because no one's going to do anything about it if you do. So all cops are bastards. And until we do something to defund the police... And put the money that was the billions of dollars that we spend on police and put that money towards education, social services, and training the cops properly. Uh, they, they all continue to be bastards and uh, the harbingers of just death and doom uh, wherever they go. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I really appreciate you guys uh, coming and watching me today. I thank you very much. Uh, if you feel the need, please make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, please don't let this happen to you or your family or friends or your pets. Um, if you can help it, stay the hell away from the cops. Because all cops are bastards. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, have a great day. Be safe out there. And by all means, please do not forget to be the best heathens that you can be. And have a great evening. <laughs>